In September 2014, astronomers discovered IPTF14HLS. Now that's a weird name, so let's go with its nickname, which is a zombie star. This zombie star is basically an exploding star, a supernova, which in past was a huge star with mass about 50 times the mass of our sun. Now, as far as we know about the supernova explosions, when a supernova explosion occurs, it lights up the entire galaxy, it stays bright for about 100 days, and after the 100 days, its brightness goes down and down and it just fades away into nothingness. So in January 2015, astronomers predicted that in about 100 days maximum, this star will also fade away like any other. But the problem is that it didn't. Instead, it kept shining for about 1000 days for more than 3 years and during that period of time, its brightness sometimes went up, sometimes it went down periodically and we don't know why. So up to this point, astronomers don't know why this supernova keeps shining for about 1000 days. So astronomers went back and they saw the data which was collected from this specific portion of space where this supernova is located and they were astonished to find that at the same exact place, at the same exact location in the space, in 1954, more than 60 years ago, a supernova explosion occurred which shows that this star exploded in the past in 1954 and 60 years later it exploded again in 2014. But as far as we know about the supernovas, once a star explodes, it loses all of its mass and it cannot gather itself together again and then explode. So what's exactly going on here? Let's find out. According to some astronomers, this zombie star is the very first example of pulsational pair instability supernova, which means that when a star gets too hot, then at the core of that star, matter as well as antimatter starts to form. And as we know from the properties of antimatter, matter and antimatter are like the Ronaldo and Messi of space. They can be in the same team. The heat of this massive star formed the antimatter at its core and as soon as antimatter is formed at the core of this massive star, it started a process which literally created a huge explosion at the center of a star and that explosion led to this supernova, this partial supernova in which the outer layer blew away whereas the inner layer of the star stayed intact. Right now this zombie star is totally silent and we may see another supernova explosion from this star. So that's almost everything about the zombie star. And I hope that you learned something new today. If you want to know what happened to Kalpana Chawla in space, you can watch this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Click this. Bye.